Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In this video, we're going to continue with our first person shooter by adding a health bar that you see in the bottom left hand corner. And what I'm going to do first is to show you how this is going to look in the game. Okay, so when I shoot this player, you can see that the other player's health GUI goes down, and this corresponds with the player's current health. So if I continue to shoot the player, it goes down, and then because of the health regeneration, you can see it slowly going back up. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. All right, so let's go ahead and get started by creating the GUI, and then we'll take a look at the script for it. So this is one that I created before, but the process for making it is you're going to start under Screen GUI. You're going to click on the plus sign to add a frame. Go ahead and resize the frame to whatever size you want. Down here for the properties, I located the style section. And then I changed it from custom to drop shadow. And then inside this frame, you're going to be adding a text label. Go ahead and rename that text label to health. And then you can make some appearance changes to it. So what I did for mine is I changed the background color. So I started with this bright red and just added a little bit more white to it. And then down here for the text, I changed it to 100. I increased the text size a little bit. And then for the text color, I changed it to white. Okay, so these are all optional changes and you can make it look however you want to. But what you're going to do is resize this text label to fit inside your frame. So something like that. And then at this point, you probably want to use some type of plugin to scale the GUI. So I'm using the Auto Scale GUI, which I'll leave a link for in the description. If I forget to put the link, just go ahead and remind me, though. So what you can do with this plugin is you can click on the different GUI elements. So we'll start with the frame. We'll go to the plugin section, and then for the size, we're going to scale it. And then for the text label, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to go to plugins and then press scale. And you may notice for the one I created before, the health label is not the same size as the frame. And this is something you might need to adjust as depending on how it looks in the game. And I noticed for my game that I needed to offset it a little bit so that it looked correct. So what we'll do for now is I'll just go ahead and run the game and we'll take a look and see how it looks. Okay, so everything looks good so far. So let's go ahead and start working on the script. Okay, so now we're going to start working on the scripting for this. So under the text label that we renamed to health, go ahead and click on the plus sign. And then we're going to be adding a local script. The first thing we're going to do inside the script is create a variable for the player. So we'll say local player is equal to game dot players dot local player. Then we're going to make a variable for the health label and we'll say local health underscore label. And this is going to be equal to script dot parent. Next, we're going to create a while loop to constantly update the label. So we're going to say while, wait, and then we're going to say do. So inside this loop, what we're going to do first is say local percent, and this is going to be equal to player dot character dot humanoid dot health, and we're going to divide that by player dot character dot humanoid dot max health so what this is doing it's going to take the player's current health and divide it by the maximum health and by doing that it's going to give us a decimal that we can use as a percentage so just as an example let's say the player's health is equal to 75 then it's going to do 75 divided by 100 so as a decimal that's going to be 0.75 and as a percent, that's going to be 75%. So the way we're going to use that is we're going to resize the health label to 75% of its current size. So to resize the label, what we're going to do is say health underscore label. And then we're going to say dot size. And we're going to set the size equal to udim2 dot new. And then here it's going to take four different numbers. The first one is going to be the x scale. The second one is going to be the X offset. The third one is going to be the Y scale. And the fourth one is going to be the Y offset. 
So for the x scale, we want to set that equal to the percent. For the x offset, we're going to set that equal to 0. For the y scale, we're going to keep that at 1. And then for the y offset, we're going to keep that equal to 0. So keep in mind, once we test this out, we may have to change some of these numbers, just depending on how the GUI looks. So in addition to changing the size, we also want to update the text on the label. So we're going to say health underscore label dot text. And this is going to be equal to player dot character dot humanoid dot health. And you may notice that we're using the same string quite a bit. So if you want to, you can convert this into a variable and put it up top here. I'm just going to keep it like this so that you understand what each part is referring to. So what we're doing is we're setting the label's text equal to the player's current health. And what we want to do is just round that down to the nearest integer. Otherwise, we're going to get decimals. So to round this down, what we're going to do is say math.floor. And then we're going to put this inside the parentheses. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the script so far, and we'll see if we need to make any changes. Okay, and you can see once I'm in the game, the GUI is messed up a little bit because of the script. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how we can fix this. So the first thing I'm going to do is for the Y scale, I'm going to change that to a smaller number. So let's try 0 0.8. So that looks a little bit better. It's fitting inside the frame nicer. So what I need to do now is just make some changes to the X scale. So this part right here is the X scale. So since it's a little bit too long, let's go ahead and try subtracting a small number. So let's try minus and then 0 0.1. Okay, so now the whole thing's inside the frame, but it looks like it's a little bit too much. It can be probably a little bit longer. So let's change it from 0 0.1 to 0 0.05. Okay, and that's getting really close. I think I can make it just a tad bit smaller. So what I'm going to try next is 0 0.03. Okay, so that looks good. So it fits inside the frame going left to right and also up and down. So that's one way that you can change the size of it. You can also do it manually like I did here. So what I did in this case is just make the whole thing a little bit smaller so that when it loads into the game, it fits inside the frame. I would probably recommend changing it on the script side, but you also have the option of changing it manually too. So the last thing we're going to do before we end with this video is just run a test server so that we can make sure that this value right here is updating with the current health. Okay, so let's go ahead and test now. I'm going to shoot this other player and we'll see if the value updates with the health. And we can see as soon as the player is shot, then the value gets updated to the player's current health. All right, and before we end with this video, I'm just going to show you one more thing you can add to your health bar if you want to. So what you can do is you can color code your health. So for example, 70, it's going to be orange. As soon as it gets back to 75%, it's going to turn back to green. And then if it's less than 10%, which I'm not sure if I can get to. So let me let it load up a little bit, and then I'll shoot them again. And here you can see if it gets less than 10%, the color turns red. So if you want to add this, this is what the script is going to look like. So we're going to add three if statements. And basically we're just going to be checking for the percentage to be within different ranges. So here the first one says if percent is less than 0.1. So this is for low health. So what you're going to do is set the background color of the health label equal to the color red, which is 255 for this value right here. If the player's health is between 10% and 75%, then I'm going to set it to an orange color by setting it to these values here. And then if it's greater than 75%, then I'm going to change it to green by setting 255 for the green value right here. So you can adjust these ranges to whatever you want to, and you can also change the colors to whatever you want to as well. For now, though, we're going to go ahead and end with this video. Go ahead and leave me some comments of what you want to see next for the series. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.